fasting, to abstain from all or some kinds of food or drink. But why? Some people fast for religion, while others do it for the health benefits. Today, we're doing it for another reason, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the most food-centric holiday, producing about 365 million pounds of turkey, 250 million pounds of potatoes, 40.5 million dinner rolls, 28 million pies, and generating about $293 million in food waste each year. So we wanted to take a day to be mindful of what we have and the food we eat, and to appreciate the little things we take for granted each and every day with a 24-hour fast. So we're about to eat our final meal. We're gonna try and fast for 24 hours. Our goal is to only intake water during this time, but we did a pretty bad job, especially me, of weaning off coffee. I did a good job. <laughs> We've seen a lot of people do it. There's a lot of health benefits to it. Um, we're not doing this to lose weight by any means. It's not the goal of what we're trying to do. We are gonna do hourly updates for you guys to see how cranky or hangry we get. Which we anticipate. <laughs> and tomorrow is going to be like hour 12 by the time we wake up and then every hour after that's only gonna get harder. Hello, Chef Carlito. My last meal is soup with tofu, mushroom, and bok choy, soy sauce, nudes, nudes, vegetable egg roll. 7.30, we just finished dinner, no more eating, 24 hours. You're already anxious. I'm, oh bless you. All right, I feel very stuffed, probably ate more than I would have normally, but I'm very nervous. <laughs> I love food. <laughs> we eat like five to six times a day between like meals and snacks and smoothies. I'm very nervous that I'm not gonna be okay. It's a lot of food that we will not be consuming for the next 24 hours. So we did a little bit of homework and we found that it might be easiest for us to do dinner and then start the fast. So we're going into our sleep in the beginning of this. We're gonna have a chance to like have a good night's sleep and pretty much go to bed with the normal amount of food in us, but now making a full day's worth of difficulty with like the hardest part hitting kind of by, I don't know, noon to 3 p.m. tomorrow yeah. on that home stretch, so. How are you feeling? I'm not that anxious. I feel like <laughs> I'm pretty good at going to what I call like survival mode. I'm more worried about the caffeine. We'll see. I, I don't want to drink coffee tomorrow. My goal is to do this with no medicine, no like Advil, no coffee, like just water. I think I could do the food part. I don't think I could do the food. I can do the caffeine. <laughs> Together maybe we could, one of us could do the <laughs> I'm sad my food's gone. Let's do it. Okay. It's 10.40, three hours after dinner. We're snacky. Hopefully we survive. Good night. I just woke up. No, I just woke up. <laughs> I've been up for like an hour. <laughs> Why does I know about hungry right now? It's been like 13 hours, I think. We have to go for a run though. I feel like that's gonna change the whole day. Yeah. Yep. Of course, Pergaman gets to eat today. <laughs> it's been roughly 14 hours since we started fasting. If you saw our video from two weeks ago, we ran every day for 30 straight days and we've still been running. So today is actually, I think day 44. But today we're running one mile because we don't want to kill all of our energy if we can't eat. We're going super slow, still trying to get the mile in and then uh, hopefully vegetate for the most of the rest of the day. I'm already getting hungry. Yeah, it's like the first time we felt the hungriness start to kick in. Yeah. Point three. One mile done. It's real fast. 
I'm really hungry though. <laughs> hungry, hungry, hungry. Susie boy. We're going to meditate for a little bit to try to get into the right headspace. Love it. It's 11.23. I think that's hour 16 for us. Up until now, it's just been like, we forgot to eat breakfast on time. Um, by now, we typically would have had a smoothie, then a cold brew, probably an English muffin or toast or something. And then we would do lunch like 11.30 noon. So we're coming up on lunch already. So it's kind of like the third time where we would have eaten normally that we're about to skip. I'm like, Hungry, but not starving yet. And my head feels fine. It feels good. We've been chugging water. I definitely feel the energy levels low though. That's around hour 17. Hour 17? Yeah. I honestly didn't think I'd make it this long. So. We're holding up pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely really hungry. We haven't had any coffee yet. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have coffee at this point. Only seven more hours till dinner. <laughs> I think the hardest part is gonna be prepping dinner. Well, we've been drinking a lot of water. You've been drinking a lot more water <laughs> than I have. <laughs> I'm definitely a little cranky. Brainstorming and writing our next video at the same time, which so far we haven't gotten too cranky, which is pretty good. <laughs> definitely had tummy grumbles. Oh yeah, it's like an orchestra down here. <laughs> Parker eats a leaf. <laughs> Another hour. Walk number two. I'll try to get out of the house. And not think about not eating. Keep our minds busy. I feel pretty good on the walk. Fresh air. It's pretty cold out, so it's nice. And the sun's out. And it feels really good. Yeah. Energy isn't too low yet, so we can still still get out, but. Should be good for now. Yeah. You smell so good. So good. It made me so hungry. My stomach can't stop growling. Yeah, it's definitely something fried. Fried onions. Oh. Like a sausage and pepper. Oh. And but onion, like, like fake grill. sausage, maybe for us. La, 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 la. I'm hungry. Officially in the uh, the do not enter zone. Kitchen. No food. You got this. You're fine. Drink water. And we are. After 1.30, which means we've officially hit the three quarter mark. That's 18 hours in. We have less than six hours to go. No eating the basil plant. Definitely hungry, pretty snacky. Not hangry, we're happy about that. Yeah, I have a headache. Definitely you got a headache. headache. I don't have a headache, which is like pretty miracle. I don't know how you don't have a headache. Not oh. that I want you to, but I don't know. Got a damn headache. I don't think it's caffeine. I think I'm just hungry. I feel like when I'm laying down and we're just like, Chilling, fine, and then we get up and I'm like, uh. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Five hours and 40 minutes left. I'm hungry. We got five hours left, not even. Four hours and 53 minutes. We just filmed our next video. Hopefully it's not too cranky. <laughs> I think it's so good now and we watch it back next week. Oh my God. Yeah, I can't wait to eat. We're 20 hours in. Almost at the home stretch. It's after 3.30 now. How you feeling? Not great. I'm cranky. We just did a lot of work. We planned out two thumbnails. I have a headache. I'm hungry. How are you feeling? I feel pretty good. I think the finish line being so close is making it easier, but definitely subconsciously, every time we're in the kitchen, I like want to open cabinets and just grab something. Yeah. It's been tough. <laughs> okay. 4.35, we're at three hours left. <laughs> <laughs>
He's got a, he's cranky. So cranky. I just want to watch Netflix video, but we can't find one that we want to watch. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> I think I'm like past the point of hunger and I'm just nauseous and have a headache. We have like two hours, maybe almost two and a half hours before we can start cooking. We're almost there. Babe. We're I'm like not a... cooking, you're cooking. Oh. <laughs> I'm cooking. Turn the lights off. <laughs> About 6.30. <laughs> we have one hour left and Carly's uh, really feeling the, the headache vibes and the lack of food vibes. I'm fine. <laughs> we just watched the cheesiest Netflix Christmas movie to try and survive, distract ourselves for two hours. We're hanging in there, about to start cooking dinner, which is probably going to be relieving but hard because that'll be us <laughs> touching food for the first time. but. Any wise words for the camera here, last hour? Um, kind of just hit like a wall. Like, I was fine, I was fine. It's like, ooh, I'm, I'm gonna be fine. And I wasn't fine. <laughs> yeah, you say you're fine, but you're not fine. I'm not fine, I'm definitely not fine. I'm fine. Alrighty, we will see you in an hour. Officially 7.35, we made it, barely made it. 7.29, one minute before fast was up, and I just yacked everywhere. <laughs> I thought I was fine, and then at like 6.30, kind of just hit hard, got a migraine. I couldn't get rid of it. I'm definitely hydrated. Mm -hmm. I just feel like the food. I don't even know if I could eat right now, but I'll try. I got a sweet recovery meal here. Fan favorite spinach quinoa, roasted sweet potato chickpea with a vinaigrette. And I can't eat a meal without a loaf of fresh bread and olive oil because that's my crux. And I'll probably eat a lot of cookies afterwards. This was a hell of an experience. I think we're kind of both surprised at who got beat up more. I think you prepared much better for it than I did. And I don't know why, but for some reason, I'm just like as hungry as I am when I wake up in the morning and you're like, you're like dying, but. Honestly, just very appreciative for always having access to food and always being nourished and having medicine that good stuff. Alrighty, we're gonna enjoy this food, or try to. 